All right, good morning. Hope everyone's having a great day. Yeah, this was not the video I was planning on doing today, but we'll work on the next one for Monday. But I wanted to look at a bit of news. Now, there's so much going on, even Eurovisions here in, in Europe, but so many other things. And I just wanted to look at this along with you and see what your thoughts are. Look, here in Finland, we had a bridge collapse. This is very rare in Finland, but it had to do with uh, children about... I think the doctor had said uh, age, uh, they were born in 2008. But I wanted to look at this. Was this truly an accident? I mean, accidents do happen and they will twist things to go in their way, right? Like they'll twist the numbers and everything. We understand how they work. But it was a part of a scaffolding bridge. Why would they allow children to be walking across a scaffolding bridge? Uh, just my thoughts, I don't know. But when did this happen? at 9.30. Where? Itatulen Kuya, which straight translation is East Wind Alley. <laughs> right, 45 people, but only 24 injuries, no deaths, thank goodness. So you can see the 9 and the 6, and my concerns are the East and the 9.3. You know, because we know they love looking to the East, you know, right? Look to the East, yes, oh yes, and they love the 93. Oh, Alistair Crowley's favorite number and it's as above so below with the 9 and 6. Look they love twisting everything I just have to look at these things and then of course the big news here of course she, Sanna Marin tweeting also sending her you know strength to those injured in the accidents you are in our thoughts as she's going through divorce by the way if you hadn't heard right well no surprise there after all her partying and everything else you know yeah, we all have our thoughts on her. I'm not going to get into that, but maybe she creates the rules at home, so he had to go. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, the great news, you know, even in the States, is that Walensky is resigning mm, at the end of the month. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm sure everybody is very happy, you know, <laughs> there with their masks. She comes in just prior to the whole pandemic starting and now is leaving as it's ending. You know, very interesting, wouldn't you say? Maybe her whole intention was to be there just for that, right? But people are still wearing these masks in the malls and places. It just has me so concerned that people live really in fear. And that's not a way to live at all. Not We don't live like that, thank goodness for that, but just sad. Because we fear God alone. We don't fear those men and situations. We dig deeper. But anyway, we know who she is. I don't think I need to say anything more. She's a part of that same club, just like all her partners are, right? We don't need to go there. But this I found interesting. White House dealing with a Title 42 ending. Looming deadline for debt ceiling. Hmm. But listen to what she says at the 55 second mark. While also making clear that the border right now is not open, that, that there are new and stricter consequences for migrants who are trying to seek asylum, particularly those, those restrictions that will go into effect under this new rule that will basically go into effect as soon as Title 42 lifts at midnight tonight, that will make it a lot harder for migrants who want to claim asylum. And there is this new uh, rule that will go into a place where the administration will be monitoring migrant families more. They will be looking at uh, curfews and monitoring kind of st steps to make sure that those families are, are staying within strict constraints. But when it comes to actual separations, it's something that they've tried to distance themselves from and the previous administration. So very interesting. They will be monitoring migrant families closely. Look, take a listen for yourself. I'm just saying they pivot right there from that to, you know, the debt ceiling. We understand what's coming. There's a huge collapse that will come. When? None of us know. But yeah, here in Europe, uh, von der Leyen is talking about equal rights. Oh, yes, and handing out another new award, apparently. Oh, let's just take a quick listen. In these three years, the European Commission has launched a new push for equal rights across our union. New initiatives against racism and to foster minority rights. Strategies for LGBTIQ equality and the rights of persons with disabilities. We've done all this because this is what millions of Europeans demand. A union where it doesn't matter what you look like, who you love, how you pray, and where you were born. 
you are making everyone feel that they belong in your cities and regions. So you are showing the best of Europe. And today Europe celebrates you. So congratulations to the winners and welcome to the European Capitals of Inclusion and Diversity Awards. So now they came up with a new award. Are we surprised? <laughs> no. So the one I went digging to look at what it could be, European uh, Capitals of Inclusion and Diversity, and this is all I found, this woman here, Helena Dali. Look, she's out on the roof, no, she's out of her mind. All of them are, but we know that. I mean, when you look at all the pictures they even show us, and since it was European Day and everything, right? Look, we understand how united they are in all fronts. It's clear to us. And, and even when they show us these older pictures, when you see all the symbolism in them, you know, we understand. Hall of Knights in Hog, you know? <laughs> Look, all I can say is the clock is ticking, you know, since one of them had a clock, and that's what it represented. Look, time is clicking. <laughs> Right? The clock is ticking. Satan knows it. We understand it. But a lot of people are oblivious and think they have plenty of time to turn to God. Well, I'm saying time is short. We don't trust the news here. We clearly see and understand that it's run by the rotary and all those above them. And we know exactly who's all involved. Look, someone reminded me of this quote from Albert Pike, and I'm sharing it with you. Whenever the people need a hero, we shall supply him with one. That's right. And even during this pandemic, what did they say? Be a hero, right? Oh, yeah, they're going to keep supplying everyone with heroes. Do not trust anyone. Do not put your trust in anyone. Not a leader, not a hero, nobody. Just keep trusting in God. Stay in peace with him and give your yoke to him if you have any worries or concerns because he will take that concern from you and give you peace and joy that no one else no one else can give you all right that's it god bless you guys this already went too long with computer issues let's have a great weekend we'll catch you guys again on monday till next time the 2023 award will highlight the work by cities and local communities in supporting lgbtiq equality in supporting lgbtiq equality this comes at a time when LGBTIQ safety and rights are under threat. This is a moment to exchange good practices on inclusion and diversity and inspire positive measures. Practices on inclusion and diversity and inspire positive measures. I look forward to your city's applications to the awards.